Welcome again, Gemini. It's September 2020. Dedici here. I'm sorry I've been out of action for a month uh, with the death of my mother. Um, but I'm back on board now and ready to talk to you about your horoscope this month of September. The important thing, starting straight off the bat, is that full moon that's going to take place there in your career sector. That happens on the 2nd. And you can see that it's in conjunction with Neptune. So there's a lot of idealism associated with your career now and that full moon is pretty good because it rules your second house of finance so what you've been aspiring to financially may come to pass during that full moon phase the other important thing we see here and that's triggered by the moon moving into your 11th house here of friendships idealism profits this Mars transit is is a very significant one this month due to the fact that on the 11th I'll jump on that now it starts a little bit earlier here because you've got that finance planet moving into conjunction with combative Mars you must be a little bit careful with the people you're dealing with any sort of business transactions around that time and you'll find secondary aspect there in the 12th house of expenses and generosity taking place just a two or three days before this Mars will go retrograde. Now, I've missed another one here. The sixth, we see the movement of Mercury, your ruling planet in the fifth house of creativity. That's a very, very powerful one. Some nice aspects start with the Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter trine that we see there. And Mercury also gives you a love of romance, creativity, as I said, and association with children. There's Mars there going into its stationary retrograde movement on the 11th. There are some powerful, tough aspects going on there between Mars and Saturn, Mars and Pluto, because it's going backwards, even though it's in a greater degree and it's a faster moving planet. <coughs> we do say that there's an applying square and that can be problematic uh, for you watch your watch your health watch your actions because that retrograde Mars is predominantly all about thinking more carefully about what you do and retracing your steps so to speak but that may also mean having some I guess uh, second thoughts about the actions that you've taken during this period especially actions related to Saturn and Pluto there's a new moon coming up here, which I think is very, very important as well, uh, taking place here in the fourth house of your horoscope on the 17th. Look at those powerful, positive aspects taking place here to these three planets in your eighth house. This is a property sector of your horoscope, Gemini, and that is also tied in with this eighth house, which is loans, annuities, taxation, bank savings, bank loans, all of that sort of stuff. So that may have something to do for some of you with the property aspects of your life. Now, there are other important aspects that are going to take place here. The transit of the sun into this fifth house is going to augment the already transiting ruling planet for you there in the fifth house. I'm sorry about the glare in my eyes. I know that you are probably trying to see my eyes here, but um, as long as you focused on what I'm saying here and you, you get the gist of it. The 24th is another important aspect and that takes place here um, when the moon firstly travels through your seventh house of relationships and there's again some influence here from the south node which is all about your past karma with people. Take a look at that here. 24th. I also uh, missed the new moon here which took place on the 17th. Uh, no, I didn't miss that. My apologies. I'm getting ahead of myself and behind myself here. We discussed this, uh, the property transactions, but I'm jumping to that again because this is when the moon moves through that area of shared resources, banking. You may have to talk to your bank manager at this time to maybe sort out some of the finances. And I'm sure a lot of people will be doing that given what's happened with COVID and the pressure that's on everyone uh, with their finances. The ninth house is nice here. It is all about idealism, study, 
spirituality as well. And so a bit of nostalgia there with the opposition to uh, Venus. You might want to go back and finish some course if you'd commence something. And again, the month finishes with this powerful transit and conjunction of the moon, second ruler there in the 10th house of career. So a lot of idealism around your money. You're aspiring to bigger and better things. You're likely to get that this month. Important to reconsider some of your actions, especially where your friends and social activities are concerned, because this Mars retrograde is in the 11th house. It's going to be there for some time. So I think you're going to be going back over some of the relationships you've had, some of the actions you've conducted with those people. And so that, I think, is one of the big focuses for you uh, this month in September. Don't forget astrology.com.au. I've got all of the daily, monthly, yearly readings there for you. If you want to drop me a note, happy to respond if it's something more personal. Um, and of course, these are very general horoscopes for the population. And above all, don't forget to subscribe and come back next month. Look forward to your company, Gemini. Bye-bye.